Hey everyone, this is Lola Reddy from Abstract Music Lab and today I'm really happy to show you a baseline that I've been wanting to recreate for a long time which is the baseline from Return to OZ, the Artbot remix and it sounds like this. And this is the recreation of the bass, if you listen to the original. It sounds pretty, pretty close and I'm really happy to show you today how you can recreate this bass on yourself. If you don't want to recreate it, you can grab the preset in the description below. And if you like this tutorial, you can also buy me a coffee also here in the description below. But enough about talking and let's start with the sound designing of the space, which will start right now. So starting with the initial preset, we're gonna pick here a basic shapes and we're also gonna pick here a basic mini. We're gonna put the basic shapes all the way up and the basic mini to 40%. We're also gonna put this to a saw wave and we're also gonna make this one octave down and this two octaves down and this is how it sounds like. We're also going to pick the master and increase it to 87%. It still sounds like a sustained saw, so we're going to go here to envelope 1. We're going to put the sustain all the way down. I'm going to put the decay to around 640 milliseconds, and this is how it sounds like. Still not quite there, but let's move to the effects and we'll start getting closer to what we want. Starting with the effects, we're gonna pick a hyper dimension, put a hyper all the way down and put the dimension all the way to 40%. And we're gonna decrease the size all the way down as well. This is how it sounds. You can see it opens up the sound a little bit and that's what we want with this. Later, we're gonna pick a distortion. We're gonna put the drive to 80% and we're gonna put the mix to 85%. just so it gives a little bit more of drive to the sound, but we still need that pluck feeling. And we're doing this with the filter over here. We're putting this to MG low 24. We're putting the cutoff all the way down and we're modulating the cutoff with envelope two to 60. And now in envelope two, we're gonna put the sustain all the way down. We're gonna put the decay to around a second 45 and we're putting the release to around 250. Already has more of a pluck feeling that we were missing, so we're starting to get there. To get more of a blob feeling of that pluck, instead of being like pom pom and being like more of a pom pom, we're gonna put the resonance to 11%. I'm gonna intensify just so you can listen to the difference. So 11%. We're gonna put the fat to 40%. And starts having a little bit more of the pluck feeling that we want. Later, we're gonna pick an EQ. And what we're gonna do with this EQ, we're gonna take a little bit of the low end over here. We're gonna put the Q to 40%. And we're also increasing the mids with the bell curve, also 40%. And we're putting this to around nine and a half. You can see we start to push that mid. And that's what we want with this bass. We're also compressing this a little bit just in case. We're gonna put this threshold here to around 30 dB just so it compresses a little bit. And we're putting the gain to three. We also need a delay and a reverb. The delay to make it bounce a little bit and the reverb to give a little bit of space to it. So the delay, we're gonna make it bounce. We're gonna put this to one eighth. We're gonna put the frequencies here up to 1080. There you go. And we're going to put the mix to around 40%. Without. With. You can see it already has a little bit of a bounciness to it. And lastly, the reverb. We're only going to increase the low cut to around 50%. And that's it. This is our bass. This is how we created the baseline from the Art Bar remix of Return to OZ. And I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, you know how to do it. Hit the like button. If you loved it, subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I hope to see you in the next abstract video next week. Ciao.